You need to stop using paint.net immediately and switch to Photopea. Today, we will be showing you all the differences and why you need to move now. So, this is just annoyance and an inconvenience is Photopea updates are always automatic and no prompt is needed. And also, it's free. Whenever you want to go on Photopea, you can. But with paint.net, sometimes they'll ask you to do the update. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a bad idea. You can get a free version of paint.net and it tells you to do an update or you can get one from Microsoft Store which does automatic updates for £5.79 and do not waste your money on this. This is quite bad but paint.net has more features right? You're wrong. Paint.net is missing some key features which cause this software to basically be useless compared to Photopea. The ones I noticed are the selection areas. Nowhere is the pen tool, the polygon lasso tool or even the quick selection tool. I'm Carl Coach at FX, coaching you to exceed your potential in graphic design and in particular Photopea. If this is something you are interested in, subscribe with notifications set to all. And the file format is another super big problem. In Photopea you can open up PSDs. Yes that's right you can open up Photoshop files themselves for free in Photopea. This means you can download templates and packs and you can use it all for free. Paint.net does not have this feature. If you compare the two software, Photopea has so many more features and yet it's basic enough for a novice to understand with some time and some hard work looking at other videos. I will have a guide to my beginner's guide to Photopea on screen now. I have to give credit to paint.net where it's due, like you have all the auto options except Photopea has all these and guess what, they're better to be perfectly honest. Now the brightness and contrast works as expected, the curves tab is very similar as it should be and the hue and saturation tab does what it does on the tin. So I'll run through just some of the effects that they have and trying to compare them both. Remember, Photopea has so many more features than paint.net. So firstly, they both have the oil paint filter. Going down to blurs, Photopea has the following blurs, Gaussian, Motion, Radial and Surface. And paint.net has a few other types, a bit like Photopea. But they both have the main ones I use. Again, Photopea has all types of distortions under the tab. And if you go into the filter gallery, it just has more stuff added under there. The whole design layout to Photopea looks so much cleaner and better. This is probably because it's got an extremely close look to the industry standard and the household name Adobe Photoshop. Although people have told me that Photopea lags on mobile, you still have the ability and it doesn't like for me so I suggest this is specs of the phone but paint.net does not even give you this feature. The posterize is much better on paint.net as you can unlink all the layers and change it how you want. In Photopea this is impossible and Photopea I cannot find something for the sepia at the time of this recording. You also must give credit to paint.net. They don't have ads like Photo Photopea you need a valuable space on your monitor but I would rather the ads than what paint.net limits you to and you have to pay six quid if you don't want updates again I'll give credit where credit is due and in this case it really isn't a lot paint.net is supported for plugins which from what I know for to be doesn't today I've shown you the base model of paint.net and it can be improved via plugins but you've got that extra effort downloading them. Photopea already has everything there and if you have your own website you can do it through API, through the Photopea API and stuff like that. I can't see you doing that with paint.net. Tell me in the comments what software you will be using. Will you be switching to Photopea? I'll see you guys in the next video.